What have you got? <laughs> Maybe we should get the kids to find out. Oh. Todd and I started traveling in an RV eight years ago with seven of our 10 kids. One by one, they've flown the coop and started their own adventures. Now, after three years of fixing up a hurricane-damaged sailboat, we're ready to explore the world with our last three kiddos before they're gone, too. Big box. We kept this as a surprise for the girls and were thrilled when it showed up just in time for us to take it with us on our first weekend anchoring out as a family. It's blue. Ace has wheels, so this is a backpack. Put that in there. That's, that's the emergency That's kit. the emergency repair kit. That's awesome. It's really pretty. That's nice. It came with its own wet bag. With the pressure supposed to be 15 to 18 psi. <laughs> pretty good. All right, Dad just read the directions. Is there anything we should know about not what to do and what not to do? Don't drown. Why not? While you're using the paddleboard. That would be bad. One of the basic things about this one and most paddleboards, if it's inflated, don't store it in direct sunlight. We had that happen once to another paddleboard and it went pop. <laughs> so, shaded place or uh, deflate it part way. Who do I get to throw in the water first? Abigail. Yeah. I'm going to screw it. That is for a GoPro. I could sleep on it. It's nice. This is like carbon fiber. That's actually really nice. So we find our length. Probably about as short as possible for you guys. Seem like a good length? Yeah. Put it in the slot. Slide it backwards. And now tighten up the screw. Finish tightening it with a quarter. Can we bring this while we go surfing friends? This isn't a surfboard. It can be one. No, we can't. It's a paddleboard. Oh, it's as big as you are. I could probably fit in there. If I climbed in here, she could carry me. <laughs> we definitely need some of those things that hang this stuff off the side of the boat. Well, the nice thing about this is you can fold it up and stow it somewhere until you get where you're going. That is one of the reasons why we wanted an inflatable. And when you get there, you can blow it up into this. It doesn't take very long. And you have a magnificent toy and exercise thing, especially when you're pumping it up. Gets those pecs going, those little biceps. I'm gonna deflate it <laughs> daily so that you can pump it up every day. <laughs> so I'm really impressed with the quality of this. So am I. It has a good feel to it. I mean, you can, you can tell by the just the weight of handling it that it's good quality material. Well, and with kids, they're just harder on things. Yeah. And this is going to be our kids' like bicycle on the water. This is for them to take the dogs to the beach or run over to a friend's buddy boat. Um, Go play on. Yeah, because I really don't want to give them the keys to the dinghy. No. No. <laughs> Not yet. So far, this is... Uh, way more than I totally expected, to yeah, be honest with you. The price is so good. We were looking, yeah. we have been looking at paddle boards, and especially one that we could put away that didn't have to be right. on the deck all the time. And this is fantastic. Yeah, I'm totally thrilled at this point. We'll see how it performs on the water. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if we can't do some barrel rolls, maybe some uh, jumps, you know, some like <laughs> nose diving back up. I, <laughs> doesn't have a motor on it. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Todd will probably try and put a trolling motor on oh, yeah, it. Well, that would actually be kind of an interesting idea. <laughs> Tell me when and I'll give her some gas and get her moving. So give her some gas and get her moving. There you go. All right. Thank you, Steve. Not a problem. We've learned a lot as liveaboards over the last six oh. months, and now we're going to dip our toes into living at anchor and get a taste of the cruiser's life. Whoa, the water's pretty. That's right. You better not puke on me. Hey guys, we are like headed right at to. I'm calling the friends that we're meeting to ask for a little help. Can you guys help us know where to anchor so we're not too close to you? Like, this yeah. isn't. This is new. Okay. Um, it's we're at 13 feet. 
Okay. So, um, just watch your depth and come in slow. You know, it's shallow. shallow. We aren't going far. The anchorage is just across the shipping channel from our marina. No time to put the sails up today. Bye, Brian. Look at me. It's just Todd, I, and the girls this weekend as Gabe is on a week-long kayaking trip with friends. Hey! Let's do it! Yeah, just pull up a little, probably two boat lengths away from our boat. Right! Hey, Todd, I think you need to give it a little gas and a little fuel for electric, whatever you all have. Now let her drift backwards a little bit into the wind, babe. No joke, this was a little nervy being at the helm, but each experience is building my confidence. See the little anchor sign? That's our anchor. So you see the squiggly lines? That's where we move around, right? But we can change the size of our circle. So let's say I do that. There we go. That scared me. So, that, that's what happens if you go outside of your red circle. What happens if it goes off at night while you're asleep? Um, then you get up and find out why the anchor is alarm going off. So if you put your phone in your pocket and you get in the dinghy and you take off down the water, after a second the alarm's going to go off because it thinks the boat just left the radius. Is there a way to put it on our chart plotter? Well, I don't know. That might have its own anchor alarm. Can I get in the water? We need to look. We need to explore that chart plotter, see if it has an anchor alarm setting. You want to get in the water? You ready? It's beautiful. Mom won't let us put the dog on her paddleboard. No, I will not let you put the dog on the paddleboard. The dog does not like the water. She does. She goes into dinghy. <laughs> That's different. We're gonna head over to this beach this afternoon for a birthday party. Who's Dawn? The it girl is that was Dawn, in the, the one that anchor. helped us her anchor. It's her birthday today. Her 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Dawn! <laughs> and thank you for helping us anchor. You can see the motor. Cool. Right? It's really clear out, isn't it? Todd and Abigail have gone out to test the dinghy. We've been having some trouble with the dinghy motor. So they're going to try and get it up to speed and run it for a little bit. Wow. Hello, Liberty! Whoa. Wow, they're really going. Alright, are you gonna go in the water with him, dear? My, yes, I, I don't know. So this is Bob. I think you've seen him before. And we are doing what with Bob? Throwing him in the water. water. He's gonna hold the rope so that if Wipe they get the swept away, they have something to grab onto. Okay. Thank you, Bob. He's overboard. Ready? Them all the way over here. You don't want to swim around the boat again? Yeah. It's scary. Like, uh, you don't know what's going to touch you. <laughs> don't die. And that's how you jump, Abigail. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi. Is it nice? Absolutely. I'm scared. Ah. My heart is going. Help him. Help him. Did you like my drum? Or dad? Or whatever it is. Scale one. Wait. Rate us on a scale of one to ten. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> my turn again. Wrote the comments. My turn. What do you rate this on a scale of one to ten? Four. Why? Because if it's wet, then it's really bad safety. What do you think, Abigail? Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. It's fine. What are you rating it, Dad? <laughs> what do you think, Dad? What am I rating? The jumping off the roof. Oh, it has to be a 25 out of 10. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Liberty, look. Back up. Sit down. 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 Sit down
a lot. Huh? Did you say that they sell a what? A Electric pump. Twelve volt pump. Yeah. I think we need one. Friend, <laughs> not that end. You got it. Mm -hmm. The pump moved. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah okay, I'm gonna hand you the ah rope so you can <laughs> put it away. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do this without it turning. Nice. Two strokes on this side now, and you'll turn you more. One more stroke. One more stroke. There, you see how that works? We are thrilled with the free and paddle board and the accessories that came with it and can now highly recommend it to our friends and viewers. We've actually arranged a discount code for you to get one of your very own. Okay, put all this line in the dinghy. All right, we ready? Finale, this is my first dinghy ride. Look at your cute purple hat you kept. I did. <laughs> ah, push us off. She looks amazing. We can figure out how to beat your dinghy. Oh yeah, new things. Lots of new things. Lots and lots of new things. Oh, 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 there's a puppy in the water. Puppy in the water. <laughs> Thank you. She gave us some tips to try and help them out. Like the water, if she's shaking, just ignore her. See how many paddle boards she can go across. Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Woo! Having a paddle board is a must for cruising life. It's such a multi purpose piece of gear. The kids played for hours at this game and had such a great time. I never rode in here with a kid driving. You guys wouldn't mind the United States catching us? Just grab onto the boat. Grab. grab up onto, grab, up, grab. up high, up high, up high. Oh. Nice job. Just jump. Jump. Just jump. It's on the sharks and killer dogs. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> and my oh, cat is here. Just jump real quick, Abigail. Get ready. This weekend we got our first taste of cruising life, watching our girls meet other boat kids and see how quickly they came together to have fun, cheer each other on and solve problems was an inspiring testament to how great their parents and the sailing community truly are. Grab the rope, grab the rope, Just roll it up. Grab it, hurry! Grab it, hurry! We are so excited to experience more of this lifestyle in the near future. Good morning. So it is our first morning waking up at anchor. Let's go look outside. We're facing a different direction today than we were last night. The tide goes a different direction. So the boat swings a full 180 degrees. It's really nice right now. This morning, early this morning, we had all of the fishing and charter boats going by and it was really rolly. Glorious, glorious day. Let's just make us real cruisers. The kids are still sleeping. They played hard yesterday. Abigail commandeered Gabe's bed. He's got quite a bit of sun. Hey, how is the batteries? Looks like they're about three quarters full. Three quarters full. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm turning this on. And then what else are we doing? 
It's time to eight. pull the anchor up. Yep, and pull the anchor up. So you'll need to uh, put us in forward gear, move forward really slow, so I can pull up the slack of the anchor chain. Okay, you gotta pause for a minute. Let Dad recover some energy. Don't pull it. Grab that. And then you can crank this with the other hand just a little bit. I just want to see what it does. Why are we doing this, Darren? It's easier than my back. Because we haven't got the windlass working yet. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't have windlass working yet. No, under no. that. Under here? Yep. Oh, and you come back. You twist right here. Oh, yeah. There's a boat right there. There is a boat right there. Good job, Abigail. Well, we did it. We did. We anchored out for a night, enjoyed ourselves, pulled up an 85 pound anchor by hand with no windlass. I think that that has now moved up to the top of the priority list. Yeah, because I still have a pain right here. I think I pulled a pec muscle. This <laughs> nipple over here, I can't move anymore. So. We had a fantastic time. We're so glad that you came along for the ride. Yep. And we will see you again next week. All right.